All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and begin setting up our Firebase setup. But before that, really quick, let's just add a type to these two guys right here so that we don't see the passwords like we do, um, you know, they were not not hidden from us. They were plain text. Similarly, for registration as well, we can just add the type to be password. So that takes care of that. And now we are good to go. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to add Firebase package to our project. Now, if you want to have more access to Firebase APIs like Firebase notifications on the device, we're going to get a little bit more into uh, uh, the capacitor stuff, which is a little bit more on the native side. But for this project, we only need to access the auth api and the firestore so that would work just with our javascript package as well so we're gonna stick to that for now but yeah we can explore the capacitor side as well which would allow you to have even more access to firebase apis for now i'm gonna say npm install firebase safe which would give us access to the firebase and it might take a couple of seconds to install all right, so once it's installed, you can see that we get this uh, message that it has been successfully installed. So what we want to do, first of all, is let's just go ahead inside the SRC and create a file called firebase.ts, right? And let's just keep it firebase, maybe, uh, yeah, or let me just think of a new name, firebase, yeah, maybe firebase config is fine. All right. So anyway, what we want to do is you want to say here, import star as Firebase from Firebase, right? And you can see straight out of the bat that we don't really have uh, any type definitions for this. So what we can do is we can go ahead and install that as well. So we're going to say types Firebase and hit save dev for that. So if I do Firebase and dot, you see Oh, we actually have some types by default but anyway so you see that we get these bunch of methods associated with it so what we can do is we can make sure that this module this acts as a singleton and then we uh, initialize it with the config which is provided here right so we would have all our config here and I would say firebase dot initialize app with the following config right so now how do we get this config well we would get this config from the firebase dashboard but this is something we're going to do in the next video so yeah that's pretty much it for this one and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one